I think you're already here, buddy. If I needed something from you, you would know. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine. I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know the gem nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I'll see what I can do. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Hey, what do you get for sale, by the way, Sybil? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast. Okay. How long have you been in the court, wizard? I was a member of the court during the reign of Torrid's father. It was Torrid who appointed me to the position. Well, that was like, what, 50 years ago? You look very young for, if you're that, if you're, yeah, you look very young. I like to think I've aged well. I'm certainly wiser than I once was. And I know when one should speak, and when one should hold their tongue. Okay. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. Oh, we'll, we'll see about that, won't we? How about this way? I love how he's half buried in the snow now. Okay. I will be taking that, my good man. Okay. There's no one else in the area. Hmm. Oh, you have some stuff still on you.
Oh, just random junk and 10 gold.
have mo I have a mod installed that, uh, well, I had one. I don't think I have it in this playthrough. But there's one mod I had that overhauled wolves. <laughs> he just runs away and still gets killed by my spell. I think I said in another video, uh, Pine Moon Cave is a really good place to come in if you need mushroom ingredients like Fly Amanita and others for alchemy stuff. Okay. Looks like we tripped somebody's in protection spell. Ah, it did a strip there. Right. I have to regather my stuff. You hear footsteps nearby. Suddenly alert, you walk to the cage door. Ah, and so finally our guest awakens. My, my, how confused you look. Fret not. Your questions will be answered soon enough. But first, you must tell me this. Did Sibiel Stentor send you? Yes, you must be the vampire I'm supposed to kill. Yes, I believe I am. But I don't think Sibiel Stentor meant for you to kill me. No, you were sent as tribute to sustain me, to sustain us. She's a vampire too, you see. Before we came to an arrangement with her, we yeah. used to feed on the inhabitants I can't of figure that. Bridge. Now we leave the poor fools alone. In return... Before Dawnguard came out, uh, you couldn't really tell who was a vampire for us, until Bethesda made the decision annoying. to make it the really too plain and obvious feast. by making their eyes like orange or some crap. When before you couldn't really tell until they attacked you with the vampire drain. I won't be kept as cattle, I'll die first. Oh, if I wanted to keep you as one of my feeding thralls, you wouldn't have a choice. Fortunately for you, my hospitality is of a very different sort today. What do you want with me if not to kill me? Well, I would have thought that was obvious. Have you not felt the weakness spreading in your limbs? The fever? cold sweat, the strange thirst. You, my friend, are turning into a vampire. Uh, but why turn me? Because our Lord has marked you as one of his chosen, and I see why. There is a power resting in you. I cannot discern its nature, but it is palpable. You will serve our Lord well. I think I'll worship Molly Ball simply because I'm a vampire. Half the time, my character always ends up worshiping Verm Vermina, Namira, and Boethia, and and the and the other uh, tribunal uh, Daedra. 
Ah, but you forget, my friend, that our Lord is the Prince of Domination. Don't cross Azura no matter what. No matter how tempting it is to get the Black Star, I'd rather my vampire remain in her good graces. Of course, you could try to kill yourself before you turn. Perhaps that would change your fate. Then again, perhaps our Lord would simply drag your soul to Cold Harbor anyway, to labor forever as a petty slave. I simply don't know. But all this talk has made me thirsty. I'll retire now and join my coven for a drink. I leave you to ponder your fate. A word of parting advice, my young friend. The harder you resist, the deeper will be your despair. But accept your fate now, and you will find peace. Trust me. I know. to find out what happens to you do nothing or do that note activate the cage door and the game just auto saved well, let's see what happens you find a small piece of bone in one of the corners of the cage you hesitate at first dreading what will follow then you do that wide open Pulls out and you feel yourself ebbing away. And we still turned. <laughs> oh, that is just too funny. The sharp pain pierces your stomach, awakening you. Never have you felt so thirsty. <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, I also have a retexture installed for the moon. As you get your bearing, you notice a piece of paper in your robe's pocket. Reading this, you should have just woken up by the river near Dragon Bridge. You are now a child of the night. Mine, in fact. I apologize for leaving you in the wilderness unde undefended, but I have work to do elsewhere in Skyrim, and it's safer this way. Even as I write this, some of my more jealous disciples are planning to kill you the moment I leave. We can't have that. You are destined for great things. <laughs> you may find your belongings in a locked chest beside your former lodgings. I see no issue in returning them to you. I know that they will be used in dutiful service to our Lord. Eventually, at least, I attach the key to this note. Feel free to slay whatever remains of my coven in Pine Moon Cave. They mean nothing to our Lord, for their faith has been waning for some time. Of course, you may wish to slake your thirst before confronting them. I suggest you hunt for prey in a nearby town. Enjoy those first few necks. They are the choicest. As a parting gift, I pass this on to you these three teachings. First and foremost, drink deep and often, savor every drop. Second, never reveal your true self to lesser beings for any reason but to show them the cold embrace of our Lord. And third, let our Lord into your heart. He will fill it with purpose during your remaining time on Mundus. Serve him and Cold Harbor will bring you nothing less than pure ecstasy. Farewell, young one, until our next meeting. I look forward to see what you've become. Andrasius Unval. Great. Oh, nice. Let me go grab this down here real quick. Nice. Sneak increase to 16. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get our bearings really quickly. What is that? Oh, that's a, what was that? That's just a rabbit. Okay. Let's get let's get our bearings really quickly. Oh, that was a cheap shot. Ah. Knock it off. Ah, knocked it off. Quick, I have little patience for mundane concerns. Clear off the vampires at Pine Moon Cave after getting turned into one because of you, Sybil. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. I prefer finer ones, like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Really? Okay. Take care of yourself, and always remember, the world is right with people looking to stay with life.
bring more ruins? Eh. Okay. That's never been there before. Child of Sindar. I heard something happened to the tree at the temple. The guild are agreeing, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. Why haven't uh why haven't the pilgrims been coming? A big dead tree isn't very inspiring if you're coming to worship the divine of wind and rain. Kinares gives life. thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. Think if you had some of it back from the Cairn, you could wake up its staff. But even if you could get to the end of you, you couldn't have it. Not with any normal method. So where is this tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the ration they've made for sacrificing Trigon. It's called Nettle Bane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. I'll get it for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's wind will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Hey, Skullgar. Got the fleetest feet in all of Skyrim. How old are your horses? None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alstigar, or just Alice for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if she's got the coin. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Okay. Right strong.
what happened to you? Oh, it looks like, well, looks like whatever happened here. We mi we missed it by a long shot. Oh, wow. I like this. All right, let's let's kind of, let's go back to where we came because I have a feeling if we try to go that way, some the entrance down there will also get blocked off. Hopefully our horse didn't get mauled by anything while we were in here. Nope. There it is. All right, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave our horse right here. Okay. 